Hey, it's Brett from Harper's Podcast. Had you had a fantastic week. Um, I've got a bit of a confession to make. I remember a while ago posting something on the lines of failure, failure to plan is a plan to fail. And I think I'm currently in that phase and I've just realized it because everything is in such a disarray that I can't even feel like I... <sighs> not playing dickhead why are you doing this or you sit down and you think to yourself oh yeah i'm gonna be able to give some great advice today but you can't even string together a decent enough sentence to actually get out there and say exactly how you're feeling hmm. there's a bit of an i'm gonna do this as an unedited movie or unedited video there's definitely definitely an element of dyslexia that i have and, um, yeah, to be honest with you, what I was going to be doing within the next week, well, I was going to get myself a, an assessment for ADHD because it's been something that's bugging me for a long time where I lack focus. And I've had employers in the past that have actually stated this to me. You lack focus, Brett. This is what you need to do. This is what, you know, you, you do A, B, and C, and then you forget um, X, Y, and Z, for example. And I'm like, Fine, that's okay. I understand it. But look, I've been able to successfully always have work and always put myself in a position where I am a real hard person. But sometimes I kind of just miss the mark, even at this age, to the point that things get absolutely frustrating. Um, but I guess I'm here to share it to you because, as I said to you, like I've started this journey doing podcasting um, back in January. So it's 2024, so January 2024, but it's now July. The journey is still going well. I'm enjoying it. I really, I, you know, posting content on a weekly basis as recommended by a lot of YouTube influencers out there that have been doing it for 10 plus years and earning six, seven figure salaries, whatever, you know, which we, you know, we all want to dream. We all, we all just dream about, don't we? Um, and then you've got, uh, you know the, the 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 fact that some posts are fantastic and then other posts aren't, and how do you go about effectively planning all of that? How does it all fall into place? So over the past month, I reckon I felt an element of um, being unorganised, and I'm over it. I'm very frustrated, and I've even got you know there's a there's a I begin, I begin to realize like how, how you know exciting and uh, dynamic and uh, on the wall I was with regards to to learning new things as I was doing this process and how like I'm still excited enough to learn the process and I've even just like pretty much rearranged my whole studio again like if I was to show you the space now it is much better than it was over a month ago so I'm so happy with that it's actually motivates you to get back into it and do what you want to do but I haven't planned. I haven't effectively sat down and planned stuff. I've got things happening in the works. I've got a 30-page script on talking about schizophrenia with my history of working with some of the clients I do. Uh, but I, I dropped the ball. I've, I've got it sitting there somewhere, and I'm only up to, like, literally page 10 of re-editing it, the first draft. Uh, then, then I've got, uh, you know... It, doing motivational posts uh, twice a week to the point where you can say to yourself oh god what am I gonna, how am I going to motivate myself and I'm, how am I going to post a motivational post if I don't feel motivated in myself with what I'm doing and that's the thing I, I dropped the ball and then the past week it was a quite an amazing uh, journey in itself on the Friday the previous week I'd done sound therapy with my sister and my partner and we went um basically uh, on a bit of a journey and that the week that preceded that had been fast fantastic leading up to right now to the point where i've began to identify once again that i've made the mistake of not planning and you know even here is a, a great you know idea with regards to, to planning overall and what it was actually like when i took the time to be a bit more patient with the process of posting stuff on YouTube to fit in everything else that I'm doing as well. So being able to 
sit down and plan overall, I think, well, I don't think, it is the answer to a lot of what we're trying to do, isn't it? Like, how many times are you faced with a situation where it's either, it's fight or flight mode. It's either put it in a too hard basket or you do it right now. Um, sometimes if you do it right now, you forget that there's other things in the process as well. Like it all has to fit in. It all has to complement one another. It's a, and eventually the outcome will speak for itself when the quality of work is done. And, and this, you know, is this the element of, of doing that in, in the workplace, but also in your home environment as well and within with your personal endeavors. So fitting it all in is really where it's at. And I've said this to my partner many times, like I, I, I like to plan stuff. I, I feel that I'm, I am as meticulous as I, as I can be with regards to, you know, um, you know, working, going to the gym, setting time aside for, you know, family, doing my hobbies, uh, which includes this, along with uh, video games and whatever else I want to throw into the mix. But when you get to a point where if you sit down and you write down a weekly schedule of everything, it almost comes across as being really anally retentive with regards to saying to yourself, all right, between the hours of, of 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., I'm going to sit down and do some editing. And then from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., I'll sit down and have a conversation with my partner. And between 9 to 9.30, I'll jump in the shower and I'll make myself nice and clean. And from 9.30 till 10, we'll sit down and watch uh, the latest TV show that we've been downloading off the internet. And by 10.30, we'll be in bed ready for another day. Like, it kind of is the way it should be in some ways. But life isn't like that. Life is dynamic. Life is, you live it off the cuff half the time with um, events that happen and being able to... <laughs> you know, uh, put that hat on to get that task done and being uh, being self-aware and, and present in that, in being able to, you know, help that other person or to, or do what needs to be done. So, look, all in all, that uh, um, failing to plan is, is a plan to fail. And an hour of planning can save 10 hours of doing so it's actually a very good quote by Dale Carnegie, and he, you know, surprisingly enough, you know, searching this person, he is an American writer and lecturer and a developer of courses in self-development, salesmanship, and corporate training, public speaking, and interpersonal skills. So, this gentleman was born in 1922 and passed away on the 1st of November in 1955. So I can't imagine what it must have been like back in those days, in that day and age where everyone may have been focused on the Great Depression or whatever war was happening or the Industrial Revolution as it was evolving back then. But he still managed to cultivate a process of being able to plan effectively to get the job done and share that knowledge because he believed in it to be the best way to do things. And you know what? I think him, along with a lot of other people, are on the right track. So plan your day, plan your week. I'll do them my best to plan better this week like I was over a month ago because over a month ago, things are going pretty well, weren't they? I think they were. Have a great week. We'll be in touch. Stay tuned.